Hello everyone, my name is Kleinicus, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Beholder. In the last episode, we were able to learn a little bit more about Aloysius's love life, or his lack thereof, and we decided we'd help him out. We also learned that there's a bit of suspicion going about uh, Klaus, who's one of our residents, so we're going to have to follow up on that in this episode. So let's get started here. Uh, the one thing I was noticing near the end of the last episode is that we really don't have a lot of surveillance in most of our units. So I think before we get going with the Lonely Aloysius or the that which is hidden will be revealed quests, we'll first get a couple more security cameras set up. So to do so, let's first see if anyone is in the unit. Oh, oh, someone's in there. Okay, so it looks like they're coming to the... Oh, hi there, Klaus. I was not looking in your unit at all. Don't mind me. Alright, unit 3 here, they're both leaving, so actually I'll move up here. Let's just make my way in there, because I saw both of them leave, so I know there's no risk of them coming back up here right now. And while we're doing that, let's go and grab ourselves some security cameras. So, I can use my influence to buy them, and we've got a, we have a fair bit of influence, so I think I'll buy some of the level 2 cameras. There we go, getting four cameras should be good, because that'll get us one free unit up here. Oh, okay, you're not there. I didn't realize it didn't. Whoops. Alright, enter the unit. And let's install ourselves a camera in this room here. There's our stretchy arms going up and pulling everything up there. Excellent. So we've got a little bit of surveillance now going on this unit. And let's try and get the same going in the other units as well. Hello, is anyone in there? Doesn't appear so, so let's get ourselves in. Wonderful, we'll do the same thing here. We'll throw another security camera up there with our wiggly waggly arms. Excellent. And just one more down here. Hello, is anybody in there? Appears not, so let's get to it. Jingle jingle with the keys. Here we go. Oh, bus come back, so let's go back quickly. Right, let's throw that camera in there. Okay, so we've got a bit of surveillance now in our four units. It's not the best coverage, but it's still better than we had before. And actually, I bought a fifth camera as well for down here. So let's throw one up here. Okay, there we go. So we've got some coverage now in all of our rooms. What do you need, Anna? What, Carl? What happened? Martha is sick, Carl, and we have no medicine at home. Can you find some aspirin for our girl? I've waited in line forever, only to find out I need a prescription. Of course I'll find him. Do you have any news about Martha? No, it's just a fever, but I don't like how she feels. Okay. So we need to get Aloysius and his girlfriend soon. We, we already have her lined up. I was hoping that something else would appear because it seemed a little sketchy. But if not, we'll talk to him and that's fine. Good afternoon. Let's talk about Spock's loneliness. Do you have a dignified lady for the doctor in apartment 2? I think he's actually in apartment 4, but whatever. I have a niece who's excellent marriage material. She's as smart and beautiful as I was in my youth. Alas, she doesn't live in our city. I can send her a telegram and invite her to my place. Let him come, and I'll introduce her to him. That's not a bad idea. That'd be nice. How about some aspirin? Do you know where I can buy aspirin, Rosa? I don't know, dear. I was given this in the hospital. Do you have aspirin? Can you give me the pills, Rosa? Can you ask me for and you can ask me for anything you want in return. My daughter is sick. What do you want? The weather is nasty. Bring me a cardigan then. Okay, so I guess we will find the cardigan. Oh dear, so many options here as to how we can progress through this. 
All right, well, let's talk to Aloysius about um, her niece. Hello. Let's talk about loneliness. Any preference? Who would you like to meet? Anyone. I found a girlfriend for you. Who is she? Rosa Rannick's niece. I can't wait to meet her. She should visit her aunt soon. That's great. What a relief. I will soon no longer be lonely. Excellent. So that means we were able to figure out that. Now, actually, you're a doctor, so maybe you could help me out with the pills. Let's talk about aspirin. Good day, Aloysius. Do you have any aspirin? Why does everyone like these pills? Can you obtain these medications? It breaks my heart to say this, but no. But I have no right to prescribe or receive medication. You have to go to the hospital or trade with those who don't need it. Mm, you're not much of a help there. Okay, well that's sort of a background right now. We need to figure out what's wrong or the uh, profile. That's profile Klaus. So let's talk to some people about Klaus. Who can we start with? We already talked to Aloysius earlier in the last episode about him. He knew nothing. So we can try talking to Klaus himself. Oh, here we go. Here's everyone kind of getting off. Let's talk to Maria. Hello. Oh, nothing from you. What about you, Mark? Definitely wait till you're inside to talk to all of you because it seems kind of weird that you won't say anything. Hello. Nope, nothing. Jones, anything from you? What do you want? Still just a trip abroad, okay. Oh, wait, if we're profiling Klaus, we just have to, let's see here, I think we just have to submit, like, oh, this kind of profiling here, okay. So let's look about profiles, alright, yeah, let's go back to our desk and we'll, uh, we'll look into this. So let's see, we'll write a report. So we're gonna profile a tenant. So it'll be Mr. Klaus Scheimer, living in apartment number one. Oops, apartment number one. He's male, and he lives with his wife, who is, oh, here we go, Maria Scheimer. His occupation is that, Yeah, tobacco says that's what we had in there. I just wanted to make sure on that one. And so of him, we've learned that he plays chess. He's a wine steward. He smokes a pipe. He takes photos. And he enjoys modeling. That's going to get us $875. And I don't believe any of that violates any of the directives. Because it looks like it's about singing, books, drugs, apples, currency soda and jeans so we're good so I, I really don't want to send klaus away to the the state because he really did help us out with our son's university books so here we go we'll send that in we made a fair bit of money now we have to call the we have to call in whenever we are done it so since we have a few exclamation marks up here i think we will here we go oh sarah you must be hello dear uh, hello? What do you, what do you want? Hello, I'm Sarah Watermach, the Renex niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, so I'll be living here. In which apartment does Aloysius live? I can't let you go into Aloysius yet. We need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. All right. So where is Mr. Doctor? I'm not sure if he's in his unit right now, but either way, she is currently out there, so he may be in here. Let's see if he responds to knocking. Okay, he is in here. Excellent.
Come on. Anytime now, Lacey. Yes, this is for you. Here we go. We'll have a conversation. Hello. So let's mention the woman at the door. There's a woman on your doorstep. She says she's come to see you. Really? That's strange. But let's see. So they're going to have their conversation, and I need to find some aspirin real quick for Martha, because we're under 17 hours. I guess if you, Mr. Traveling Salesman, had some of that. Do you? Aspirin! Alright, well, we made a fair bit of money profiling Klaus, so I think we're okay with buying it. So let's get that. Oh, it looks like they're hitting it off very well. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Can we talk to you, perhaps? If, are you move? Oh, look at that! They've got some bed sheets and everything. All right, they don't want to talk. They're uh, they're busy. But you know that's okay. I'm not gonna blame them. What, Carl? Okay, so let's talk about Martha's health and the need for aspirin. How's Martha? Have you found aspirin, Carl? Martha is worse. Yes, take this. I hope it's just the flu. Everyone is getting sick these days. Thank you, Carl. I think she'll feel real better for a couple of days. What do you mean, a couple of days? She should feel good going forward. Alright, either way, we helped out Martha, and that's good. What, Carl? Okay, broken TV now. God, you are just so needy. The TV broke, Carl. Take care of the breakage, please. Or call a repairman. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Thanks, honey. You're a real jack of all trades. Yeah, you definitely. All right, fine. Oh, and what do you want, Patrick? Because everyone wants me nowadays. <laughs> yes, father. Oh, let's learn about what happened. I need to talk to you, father. Hmm, what happened? I met a nice girl and I want to ask her out. The first night of the Lights of Hope will take place in a couple of days. Actors from the capital arrive too. Wait, who's that girl? Andrea Gorchik. She's beautiful and smart. She likes going to the theater. I heard she wants to go to opening night. This is my chance, father. I don't have enough money for the tickets, however. Hmm, how much are they? $550. This is big money. <sighs> Fine. Take it. The theater is a lovely place, son. Here's the money. Oh, I think that's a bit of a bug there, because I don't think that's us yelling, thanks, father. I assume it's him. Thanks, father. You're the best. I'm not... No, I'm going to give good advice. Find time to go to the library. Look for the Capital Newspapers file for the last week. Read what educated people have written about this play, if you want to impress your new friend. Or you'll learn nothing. Thanks, Dad. Alright. Well, we got that going, so that's great. Hey, look at these guys up here. They're, they're really kicking it off. Good for them. Okay, so the TV is broken. Although, maybe I have something to repair it with? I'm not sure. Oh, I need a... What was that? A, oh, repair drill. That was in here. Okay, $50. That's not too bad. Let's use that. And we will repair the TV. There we go. That looks to be good. And we helped our wife a bit there, so that's good. So the only thing we have active now is to call back into the ministry... Yes, let's do that. Here we are. So let's dial the... Okay, let's report a task. Ministry of Order. It's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Scheimer. Oh. Okay, we've got 10 days to do so. It looks like 20, 240 hours. So let's have his wife. What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. 
do what you think is best. All right, let's ask about eviction methods. How can I evict Shimer? Talk with Shimer. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Okay, so it looks like we can either talk to him and have him peacefully leave. We could profile him and see if he breaks the directive. Um, again, we helped him out. Or sorry, he helped us out a lot with the books. So I want to try and take this the peaceful route if possible. So maybe it's best we talk to him first and see if there's anything maybe he knows of or can do. Alright, he's not home yet, so let's talk to our wife once again, who once again needs our help. What, Carl? Alright, let's learn about what happened. Martha feels worse, Carl. The aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor, Carl. Find a doctor. Don't you want to take Martha to the doctor? We visited her, her doctor already. He said to give her aspirin and clean her nose with dish soap. With soap, Carl? How can I clean a kid's nose with soap? Find a good doctor for our daughter, Carl. Well, we just happen to have a cardio surgeon in our apartment who I think likes us because we found him a girlfriend. So maybe that'll play out in our favor. In the meantime, let's repair apartment number two, because it looks like our uh, Boston's moved out. Oh, no one wants to move into your building. Okay, that's fair. So we've got just the three tenant, or sorry, three units for now. Let's see if you. Oh, there you are, Aloysius. Can I talk to you for a second? Hello. So let's talk about Martha's illness. Aloysius, my daughter is sick. Could you examine her? Of course, I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. Oh, well, thank you. That was very helpful. Oh, whoops, I clicked that again there. Alright, so you're going to watch after our doctor, or watch after our daughter for us, rather. Hopefully that works out. And actually, they both left. Mm. They both left. No. Let's not put any more cameras in there just yet. We're still good. Interested to see, though, where that... Oh, new messages. I know. Find a way to evict Klaus. Where are jeans? Okay. Oh, new message the mail. All right. Oh, you're leaving. Hello. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's see what mail came in. <clears throat> Daily News. The first evening performance of the Capitol play on Love and Peace resulted in a scandal. Part of the audience left before the end. Plays should not portray real people, not silly stories that have nothing to do with reality, said Bruno Raus, head of Plant Number no. One's recreation department. The theater administration promised to shut down the play and ensure future plays don't upset the workers. Interesting, interesting. Now what does the voice of truth have to say? Once every three years, great actors come to our Nowheresville and receive a cold welcome. On Love and Peace, the latest play to premiere at our local theater, was shut down when raging miners refused to watch the love story. It's hard to blame them. There's no place for feelings in the life of a common laborer. Just work, quarrels, and grocery store lines. But comrades, let's not allow our slavery to take away our aesthetic sensitivity. Go to the theater. Then who will work then? The country needs our labor, not shows. Hmm, interesting. All right, so Martha's being taken care of, it looks like, with medicine. Aloysius is down here, probably oh, thinking about that lady we found him. Oh, she's also over there. No one's over here right now. Oh, there you are. Klaus, I would like to talk to you about a small, small thing. Just, just a teeny little thing. We might need you to, uh, to be evicted. Hello! Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Yes, let's be honest. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. 
I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do? Good. I would like to offer you help. I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? You gave my book, gave my son books that were worth two thousand dollars. I think I, I, I think you deserve this. <laughs> I can agree and leave. You're right. Never mind. <laughs> no, we'll insist. I'm not asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop to that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand? What is an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is the document you need to either enter the strategic facilities or leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all close to me. Why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the Archives for the data update. They said I could obtain them there. I went to the Archives. They said there are no documents left. I spent a week in the line to see an inspector about submitting a, deten a detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application, and they were out of the one I needed. Damn it! You mean the documents are lost in the Archives? Yes, the documents are in the Archive. They say it's a ploy to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the Archives. Well, it just so happens we have someone who might be able to help us with the Archives. So if I recall, the crazy mad scientist looking guy in apartment 3 works in the Archives. Is he there? Oh, no, it's just the wife who's there. Sorry, Rosa. Don't don't really want to speak to you right now. I actually wanted to talk to your husband. <laughs> Sorry, I knocked on your door and ran away. Uh, he's not downstairs, is he? Oh, actually, he is downstairs. Okay, let's talk to Mark. What do you want from the archivist? So let's talk about how to help Shimer. Do you work in the archives, old man? Wow. Carl, we do know this already, Carl. You should know that. What's it to you? You even... You knew this even without me. I need your help. One good man can't obtain a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taken to the archives. Don't feed me a line. So let's tell the true story of Klaus. I'm talking about Scheimer from apartment 1. He fell from grace with the state. They took his absentee certificate, and now he's stuck here. I don't like him! He works in the tobacco shop, but has never given me tobacco for free! <laughs> oh, you want free things. Okay. He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's afraid. Help me. Bring me his absentee certificate. They can't live without it. Understand? Deal! But you owe me a bottle of whiskey! I won't be able to access the confiscated documents without it! Well, we happen to have whiskey from Aloysius, so let's give that to you. What do you want from the archivist? So, can I? You bring me the whiskey, and I'll bring you the documents! Here's the bottle. Keep quiet. Good choice! Okay. I'll get the paper. Come back later. Alright, so that's going to work itself out. He'll grab the papers. That's great. Aloysius, how are you doing? Hello. Okay, so... Oh, the exam for our daughter, I think. What's wrong with my daughter? I don't want to scare you, but Martha isn't well. She has... Bibasular rails in the lower half of her both lungs. She needs antibiotics ASAP. 
And as much as I love domestic medicine, she needs the imported stuff. Local medication will only make it worse, and it's already serious. Delays could result in a fatality. It's 20,000, oh no, per course. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything cheaper. Quotes, prescriptions, regulations. I'm risking a lot to help your baby. How does one get 20,000? Do you have anything else to say on the matter? Give the money from Arthur's treat. Well, I've got 2,000. Is that a start? Could you bring Could you bring the medicine now and then I take the money for it? I'm sorry, Carl, but the situation is quite the contrary. I'm not a taking advantage of your grief. I just don't have this medicine at home. For this amount of money, I can buy the medicine and bring it to you. Oh, crap. All right, well, we've got to figure out... Maybe, maybe there's a way we can get some... Shimer's papers. Find a way to. Okay, we get three thousand for evicting Klaus. And hopefully that'll work out a little bit. Maybe we can profile some tenants to to get some money. Let's try that. I mean, I don't know how much we'll be able to get from it. All right, let's see. No, foreign music. That's great. Okay, let's profile our tenants. So let's say Mr. Or, sorry, Ms. Maria Shimer. What do we have on... Oh, we don't have anything on her. Okay. How about... Oh, okay. Mark. Mark Rannick. He likes fishing. And he likes tobacco. He lives with Rosa. And he's an archive employee. And he's living in apartment number three. Let's send. Wonderful. The profile was received. And let's also do... Okay, so let's see if that... So let's do his wife as well. Oh, well, we have that she likes to cook. That's helpful. I remember she's a ca she's a cafeteria cook. She lives with Mark. Also in apartment three. And... Oh, sorry. Female. There we go. Profile was received. Can we do anything more for our... We've done... We're not doing our family or anything. Let's make sure on that. Nothing on the family. Apartment one's done. Apartment three is done. Nothing on Sarah. Nothing on Aloysius. Uh, it wasn't quite as much as I thought it would be, but I guess it's something at least. All right, Anna. What else would you like? Because you clearly need everything under the sun right now. What, Carl? How may I help? What do you want, Anna? I need $700 for utility bills. No, no, we'll discuss later. No, I'm sick and tired of paying those bills. Are you kidding, Carl? It's not like I buy anything for myself. For your information, it's been three years since I bought a new pair of stockings. If we don't pay our bills, they'll cut us off, and our heating is already not that great, given how humid that basement is. Or we'll have no water at all. Nothing for washing our hands or making soup. Well, Martha, or sorry, Anna, if you actually talk to me on a regular basis, you would know that our daughter is gravely ill and needs a lot of money for her medication. So maybe you should stop focusing on your needs of these little bits here and there and help me find money for our daughter. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't like our wife one bit, I'm sorry. I, she's just really, really rude. Let's see what Aloysius has to say here. Aloysius, hello, hello. No, we already talked about the money for Martha's treatment. Okay, that's what he wants. Can I help you? We're so happy we decided to get married. Did you hear me? Aloysius is getting married. Can you imagine? I bought cruise tickets to the southern shore for our honeymoon. All thanks to you, but I have a request. I want to make Sarah a gift, but I don't know her very well. 
I don't even know what she likes. Can you ask around about her? Okay. I owe you. And I'll definitely treat you to a slice of chicken innards pie. It's delicious. How about a, how about a slice of uh, antibiotics for my daughter? Alright, Mark. What do you want from the archivist? Okay, so let's talk about how to help Shimer. Here's your paper! Those archive rats lost it! I found it! Excellent. So we've got that. And let's go give this to our friend, Klaus. Is he down here by chance? Nope, that's Maria. Klaus may be... Oh, oh he's in his room there. Alright, let's, let's wait out front in a not creepy manner. Hello, Klaus. Hello! So let's talk about... Let's talk about Sarah first. I want to talk about your neighbor's new girlfriend. Sorry, but I pay very little attention to the people around me. Oh, okay, fine. Maybe you'll pay attention to this. I still can't believe you've decided to help us. Any news? Take your absentee certificate. You're a free person now. Incredible! You did it! Now nothing will prevent you from leaving. I'm afraid it's not good. My wife tried to buy train tickets, but they didn't sell them to her. It seems we've been blacklisted. We must find a way to leave the city and get as far away from it as we can. Or even leave the country. Can you help? I'll try to think of something. At least it's a blacklist and not a list of people to be executed. My gratitude knows no bounds! Well, if it knows no bounds, then how about $20,000 for some antibiotics? <laughs> I started believing in people when I met you. That, that's good, I guess. Alright, so farewell, Motherland. So we have to help Shimer escape. Gather data on Sarah. Wife needs money to pay for useful services. And $20,000 to... Alright. Anything that might be able to help with moving... Oh, Maria, before you go, let's talk to you real quick. You might be able to help me about Sarah. Hello! Let's go with Sarah. I'd like to talk about Sarah, Aloysius's, um friend. I don't know what to say. She spends a lot of time in the kitchen. Also, she loves flowers. She recently told me she could buy them every day. But she spends everything on groceries because she can't allow Aloysius to eat junk. Okay. Let's talk to you about flowers. Maybe you can make her some sort of like little shrubbery or something like that. Hello. Okay, let's talk about gathering info. You asked me to find out information about Sarah. She loves flowers. I'll buy her flowers, a million red roses. In any case, I've made my decision, Carl. I'd be very grateful if you helped me with my wedding. Sarah needs a veil. Okay. You know what? We just finished the mission, or part of the mission there. It saved it up for us, so I think now's a good time for us to pause and maybe consider just how uh, just how needy all of our tenants are. Well, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to solve a few more of the issues that are plaguing our tenants and man, come up with $17,000 in three days. Whew, that's going to be a tough one. Alright, well, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this video, please uh, leave a like, maybe a comment below if you have any suggestions or comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe option if you would like to see any future content or future videos. And if you'd like to see how uh, Carl's situation turns out, be sure to also hit the notification button as well to be alerted for any new videos that come out. Thanks again for watching everyone, and as always, it's been a pleasure.